He captained the Brisbane Lions to three successive flags in the early 2000s. And now the Lions prodigal son hopes to return to the Gabba to tame the Lions and get his Carlton Football Club to their grand final. Hello everybody, it's Peps here from Lace Out and I'm going to take you through my preview and prediction for this week's Brisbane Lions versus Carlton Preliminary Final this Saturday, 5.15pm at the Gabbertoir. Let's get into it. The Lions have had a dominating season, winning every single game at home this year and took the points off the Port Adelaide Power in a devastating display in their first qualifying final, giving them another home preliminary final and the week off. The Blues have done it the hard way. They were 15th, lost six in a row, and the Natives were restless. Voss was on the verge of getting sacked and the Carlton faithful were feeling that it was going to be another wasted season. But fast forward to the eve of the preliminary final. They've had two cracking wins, one against Sydney and the other one against Melbourne. They are flying high. They've won 11 out of their last 12 games and they're heading to the Gabba riding a wave of emotion that Mick Fanning would love to surf. So who wins and why? Let me break it down. You think that a forward line consisting of two Coleman medalists in Harry Mackay and Charlie Kerno, with support acts of Livewire Jack Martin and Jesse Motlop and supported by Tom DeConing would be dominating teams? Well, you'd be wrong. The Blues are ranked 13th for goals, scored 19th for shots, and last for scoring shots inside 50 over the last five weeks. Not the form that you want to be going into against the second best defense in the league in 2023. Brisbane, on the other hand, have been the kings of the scoring jungle with Joe Danaher, Eric Hipwood, Charlie Cameron have terrorized back lines throughout the season. And in the last five games, they've been ranking second for goals scored, average goals scored, and first for winning contested one-on-ones in the forward half at a league leading 37%. Throw in a support cast of Cam Rayner, Zach Bailey, Lincoln McCarthy, and there's only one word to describe this forward line of the Brisbane Lions. Brutal. So that means Carlton's back line, headed by Jacob Wiedering, Mitch McGovern, Nick Newman, and Adam Saad need to be at their defensive best if they are to stand any chance whatsoever. Fortunately, they only lose 22% of their defensive one-on-one -on -one acts and average 67 tackles a game. Ranked second for pressure acts, third for spoils, and they also come out in front for the free kick count. They are defensively sound, attack the player and the ball hard, and rebound out of the 50, third most of any team over the last five games. I think Brisbane's back line is their Achilles heel. All Australian Harris Andrews, Brandon Starsevich, Kitty Coleman and Darcy Woolman have serviced their team throughout 2023. It's a pretty good effect. They may win 14% of the defensive one-on-ones, but they're ranked 14th for tackles, 17th for pressure acts, and they give away the third most free kicks of any team in the league and do not run the ball whatsoever out of defense. They use the ball by foot 66% of the time at an efficiency rate of 69%. With kicking skills like that, they pierce through the opposition like Iron Chef Chin Kenichi in a foie gras challenge on Iron Chef. Both midfields are hard-nosed at it, and they love the contest. And I can't wait for this one. Have a look at these matchups. Dunkley versus Cripps. Walsh versus Neal. Akers versus McCluggage. Hintnet versus McInerney. Chera versus Zorko. Fletcher versus Hollands. And the list goes on. On the fast gabber deck, I see the Lions having the advantage out of the centre, kicking the ball efficiently into the three forwards that I mentioned earlier. But if Carlton can get the ball on the outside and get it down to their two trump forwards in McCluggage, Kai and Kerno quickly, it will put the Aris Andrews led defense under some serious pressure. And it is definitely going to cause some headaches for the Lions. Carlton lead the league in contested possessions, intercept and ground ball gets across the last five weeks. But we know Brisbane live by the mantra of quality over quantity when it comes to how they use the ball, not just out of defense, but also around the ground. So in short, I'm predicting the Brisbane Lions to win this one and win it quite convincingly due to three main reasons. The first one, having that extra week off is going to make a massive amount of difference. Secondly, they're going to be playing at home with their raucous gabatoire crowd. And third, Carlton have averaged five goals less a game than Brisbane over the last five weeks. You've got to kick a score in finals, and that's one thing that Brisbane have no issue in doing. And that's why I'm tipping the Brisbane Lions to take this out by five goals and march their way over to a grand final where they will play their 2002 and 2003 enemy to round out the 2023 grand final. 
So what do you think, viewers? Am I on the mark? Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you ring the bell because every time we drop a video, you want to be seeing it. It's Pets from Lace Out. This game is going to be an absolute corker. And thanks for watching.